Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at something special, which is a meter uh, from Ableton Live to Touch OSC. And this was done in collaboration with Kirkwood West. So let's jump into Touch OSC and take a look. So again, I want to thank Kirkwood West for their help with this. Uh, it's a very cool meter that uh, shows you some live information about volume from Ableton. So in TouchOSC, you can see the template here. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple, but this is something that I assume people would uh, copy and figure out how to integrate into their own template. Now this label here is going to automatically populate from Ableton Live and the OSC message to receive that information is called track name. And this track here is currently called VU slash one. And this is going to be also the OSC message that is sending the volume information. Now all this is the script that Kirkwood West put together to make this track meter work. And it's also handy, it'll show you uh, the decibel information. Now, one thing to note with these OSC messages, including the label, which is track name, and also the VU slash one for the meter, um, if you're going to do this with a lot of different tracks and you're gonna have multiple, you're gonna have to set up specific uh, OSC messages in Touch OSC for that, so you'll have to rename each one. Uh, and then also with the patch, you would have to edit that and rename them as well. So let's take a look at the patch in Ableton Live. So this, again, is a simple setup in Ableton, and I've got the uh, Touch OSC meter plugged in here with my target IP address of my iPad device and port. And you can see you have these options uh, to use the track index, the number, or the track name. And that is impacted here. I mean, you could change this to all sorts of different things, but right now I'm using it with just the VU slash one. So if you had multiple uh, tracks going and you had this patch on several different tracks, you'd want to make sure that the OSC message in Touch OSC corresponds with the patch. Now let's open this up here and just take a look at why this is working. Uh, we've got a lot of information here, but this, all of this is gathering the volume information and he's done some nice work down here to send it to our uh, device. And you'll see when it's active, when we take a look at that, how the meter is responding and there is a response rate that we can change as well. Over here we have additional information and we are gathering the track name. So if you were to change or have additional meters running in your Touch OSC template, right here where it says track name, you would have to say track name one, track name two, uh, and so on to make sure that this information is sending to the correct label. So we have everything set up here, and if we look at our iPad, it shows track name. You can see that I changed the name of this track, but what the actual track is, the name of this real song, is my recently released song, D is for Division, off my upcoming album, Alphabet. And you can see on the iPad that has updated. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're just gonna start here around nine. And there you can see the meter responding.
So you can see this responds pretty straightforward to what you would expect with a meter. Um, and it's showing great visual as well as the decibel information. So in your template, let's say you're dropping this on a drum track, you'll want to make sure you change the label information, that OSC message, and then you could add this again to another track for say guitars and do the same thing, update the OSC message. So I know this has been something that a few people have asked me about for a long time. So I hope this helps you. And of course, you're just using an OSC message to this touch OSC template. So you should be able to implement this with a different OSC message from some different DAWs, perhaps Digital Performer or Cubase or Reaper. So we'll take a look at those later, but definitely thank you to Kirkwood West for putting this together and doing the really intense work on making this one uh, a very nice patch and I just added some things at the end. So thanks for checking this out. I hope this helps your template and your Ableton work. So be sure to like this video so we do more of these types of collaborations and things like this in Touch OSC. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, lots more to look at. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.